Remember Open Devon? It's an open source alternative to Devon. Open Devon is an AI software engineer that is capable of solving and generating complex code where you can build out full apps. Now, the creators of Open Devon have built this open source framework for software development agents. And this is to allow them so that users can access the best of the best agents in a fully open source framework. And just today, they released two major announcements. First being that they've introduced a new state-of-the-art coding agent. This is where OpenDevon has now introduced Code Act 1.0. This is something that achieves a 21% solving rate on the Sway Bench Lite unassisted version. And this is quite remarkable. The second announcement is that they have basically introduced this new simplified evaluation harness. And this is for testing coding agents. Now, these are two amazing new upgrades to the framework, which are going to make this task to develop and deploy different software much easier with Open Devon. And this is something that we're going to be talking about further in detail as we showcase these two new announcements further in detail. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Open Devon. And this is because they have introduced two key new updates. Now, previously, we know and heard about Sway Agent. This is another alternative to Devon, and it was actually able to achieve the highest benchmark on the Sway Bench evaluation. It was actually outcompassing even Devon on software AI agent tasks, as well as just helping on solving GitHub real world tasks. Now, today though, we see that Open Devon's new code act agent is able to achieve 21%, which is outstanding. And this is on the Sway Bench Lite unassisted benchmark. And this is actually a 17% improvement since its previous posted percentage. And this is one of the major updates that came out. But they also are working on a new simplified evaluation. This is basically a harness and it's going to be used for testing coding agents. And this will overall facilitate a comprehensive evaluation and a comparison that will improve agents over time. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. So you may be wondering, what is OpenDev in Kodak 1.0? Well, this is the new agent that they've designed and it's going to be used for solving coding tasks. It builds upon the code act framework and this is where it will consolidate the actions of large language model agents into unified code. And this is where it's going to mean that it can perform various actions that are related to any coding task, such as conversing with humans. You can have it so that it can classify certain things or confirm and even execute code for you. This includes Linux bash commands as well as Python code. And this is through the Python interpreter. Now, they have been able to take inspiration from the Sway Bench agent, which was another previous state of the art open source coding agent framework. But with Code Act 1.0, they've enhanced the additional tool sets based on the bash commands. So these tools will gonna, are going to be able to enable the agent to perform various actions like opening files. And this will be able to navigate through specific lines of numbers. It's going to be able to scroll through files as well as creating files as specified paths. You are going to be also able to search within directories or files, and it can even find all the files in a directory and edit segments of the files from one line to another. So this is something that is quite robust. You can see it is something that will be able to solve various complex tasks better than before. And they've incorporated feedback and lessons that they've learned from Sway Agent. So this Code Act 1.0 update will also be able to make significant improvements pre from previous updates. Now, they've also introduced this new thing where they have a countdown mechanism where they basically borrowed it from another project called MIT. And they've encouraged that the model will be able to complete its tasks within a fixed number of interactions, which is kind of unique to see. And they've also introduced another thing where 
there is a process of writing bash commands and parsing the actions once they have been simplified so that it's going to be actually a little bit more accessible and more user friendly and they've done this by incorporating it through different things and taking inspiration from different projects like sway bench or other open source dev and alternatives we all know that large language model agents hold the promise of liberating us from mundane tasks but the question remains how should we engage them with our world this is where they've introduced kodak to help us with this and this is an agent framework that is going to employ executable python code as well as other programming languages to harmonize the actions of large language model agents so we can see that this is the framework of kodak this is an example that they basically utilize and it basically starts off with the observation or the conversation that is created and initiated by the user. So we can see that it is basically asking to find the sum of the reciprocals of the roots of this function. The assistant is then utilizing these other algorithms as well as these other methods to help basically figure out what you can do with this. <clears throat> so we can see that there is a chain of thought, a self-reflection, there is improving actions from prior observations and these are just a handful of things that it is going to be utilizing before it is then sending it over to the action tab it is planning on figuring out what method is best to execute this function so you can see that it first starts off at the observation it then takes it over to the planning agent the planning agent will then send it over to the action agent which will then utilize Kodak, which is a unified action space, or utilize conversation in natural language. In this case, it will go to, through the Kodak, which is going to then utilize an interface for a computer. It can work on utilizing external components. And we saw that it is going to be able to open files. It's going to be able to scroll up and down, create files, search files, find it, edit, and such forth. And from here, we can see that it is going to be able to generate actions in various components and it will then be able to send over the outcome back to the observation which can then evaluate it once again if there's changes that need to be made it will be then sent back to the agent which will plan out different executable changes that are needed it will then send it back to the actions which can then repeat this cycle and once it's complete it can then send it over back to the conversation and natural language which will then output it back to the user and you may be wondering why would you use kodak for all of this well, most existing large language model agents are hampered by generating actions in only JSON or text formats. This is where Kodak is going to be able to allow you to have more flexibility and it's going to be able to combine multiple tools together to help you execute different things. It's going to stand out by utilizing existing large language model pre-training on code data. So this is something that they've worked on and they introduced with Kodak. Inherently, it's going to be able to support complex operations, and this is through control and data flows. It will also focus on tapping into extensive software packages so that you can expand on these functions that are written over here. Now, the promising performance of Kodak is going to be able to help you develop various sorts of software as well as just help you in solving real world tasks such as on GitHub or help you in generating complex code. And this is why they've introduced this upgrade. This is why they've been introducing this new simplified evaluation metric, which is going to help them improve and evaluate how their agents are able to perform over a period of time so that they can keep on introducing more tactics, more algorithms to improve their agents to solve various complex tasks. Now, I've actually made a video on Open Dev in previously, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. This is a video that goes more into the UI and showcasing more examples. So definitely recommend that you watch this. But they have now introduced a new installation method, which you can just get started within a few lines of code. It's easy to do so, and this will bypass all the other things that I showcase as to how you can install it. This is an easier method, which you can get started with Docker. So definitely we'll leave the link to this in the description below. And I truly recommend that you watch this older video, which will showcase all the features, UI, as well as examples of OpenDevin. But with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching this is definitely a great new update for open devon i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you check out the patreon page if you haven't definitely take a look at it this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.